Hi, we're the Two Thirsty Gardeners. I'm Rich. And I'm Nick. So today we're going to show you how to make a lovely summer cocktail. Sun's out in Somerset, lovely day for it. Today we're going to use the lovely taste of Glen Murray. Yeah, it goes really well in this cocktail, Rich. It's uh, fresh, sweet and adds a nice bit of depth to go along with the bitters. Excellent. What have we got in store? Well, Rich, we've got one of my favourite cocktails. It's an old-fashioned, but I'm going to use rosemary bitters that I'll be making myself from rosemary from the garden. Sounds good. I'd say you need a small handful, maybe five sprigs. Have a sniff. Let's have, have a sniff of that. It smells really fresh and it's rosemary. It's lovely, isn't it? There we go. So we're going to start by stuffing the rosemary into a jar. Make sure it's a jar that's got a really tight-fitting lid. What next, Nick? Next, we're going to use juniper berries. More famous for uh, gin, but they give a nice bitter flavour to, uh, to all sorts of drinks. I do like them. I'm going to pop those in there. How many is that, sorry? That's five, just five. Just five. Quantities exactly, exa don't, exactly five. Exactly five, but quantities don't matter. Don't, don't get too air top on this. You can okay. create and mix however you want. I like a few allspice berries. Two, three, four, five. Yep. They'll give it a little bit of depth. In they go. And next I'm going to uh, put in a teaspoon of coriander seeds. Homegrown, Nick? They are actually rich. If you let a coriander go to seed, then I think these are the best parts of it. Splendid. Chuck them in. In they go. And that's it. That's all the ingredients you need, apart from, obviously, your Glen Murray whiskey. A couple hundred mil should do this. Okay, Again, right. quantities aren't, aren't vital. It's one of those things where the whiskey is extracting the flavour from those ingredients. So look at that. that go lovely. in. There it is. That should do the job. It smells good already, actually, isn't it? it smell have a whiff. That's that lovely have fresh sniff. taste of the whiskey doing the job Ooh. there. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that smells, smells fantastic. Nice. So I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to give it an initial shake. Good shaking. Thank you, Rich. And then once that's done, we're just going to leave it somewhere cool and dry for up to two weeks. Two weeks to wait. Two weeks. Well, if you're impatient, you can tuck into it a little bit earlier. So obviously, the longer you leave it, the more those flavours are going to come out. Right. So, Rich, here's the uh, rosemary bitters, which have been infusing for a couple of weeks, and we've strained into a bottle. Have a sniff. You most certainly can. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, really uh, quite spicy, but quite floral as well, actually, isn't it? Yeah, quite, it is. Quite, uh, so in a glass you need around about a teaspoonful of bitters. This is just simple sugar syrup. Okay, yep. So that will really pull through those sweet flavours of the whiskey. I'm going to put some ice in the glass. I hope you've washed your hands. I oh, certainly have. No sun cream lotion on these hands. So I'm just going to give it a little swirl to mix the bitters with the syrup. Then all we're going to do is get our Glen Murray whiskey around about 50 mils and maybe a little sprig of rosemary for that extra olfactory greatness. Cheers. Cheers. You've got the, those fruity flavours, the allspice and the juniper pulling out the whiskey's fruitier notes. Very good. So I think this is a great way of drawing the flavours of whiskey on a hot summer's day. I think you're right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.